Here with one of the top all-around Cowboys in the state, we're talking with senior Luke Haskell from South Utah County. Luke, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, first question, you are so busy. You're competing in both the tie down and the team roping, as well as the cutting. Uh, talk to us a little bit about how you're, you kind of balance that workload uh, throughout the season. Yeah, so it's, it takes a lot of time for sure. I'm riding around four horses a night and everything, trying to practice up. We like to usually they're split it between two events each night. So one night I might calf rope and team rope or one night I might calf rope and cut or team rope and cut. So you just kind of have to have that balance, you know, between each of them. You're going to be uh, kicking off the rodeo with the cutting. It's it, it's kind of must be kind of nice to kind of have most of that rodeo uh, taking place at a different time before the performances with the tie down and the team rope and coming up. Talk to us a little bit about your cutting horse and uh, how uh, you feel you guys are, are able to make such a great team. My cutting horse's name's Duke. Um, we bought him, you know, a little bit before my freshman year, before we started high school rodeo and just kind of getting into it. You know, he was, he didn't look like the greatest horse when we first got him, but then we cleaned him up, you know, gave him some groceries. And um, as I started to learn to ride, I feel like we really clicked and everything and everything kind of came together. And I feel like, you know, we're, you know, making good moves, you know, it took a while, but I mean, we're, we're finally there, I think. I'll say, I mean, you guys are one of the top cutting teams in the state this year. Um, what's going to have to go right in order for you guys to bring home that buckle? Um, just be smart, pick the right cows. I mean, be smooth, be like slow. We want to be flashy, but you know, don't make any too, uh, you know, big mistakes when you're trying to go, you know, make yourself look great, but for sure, just try to be smooth as best you can. Right now, Luke, you're, you're one of the guys in the driver's seat for that all around cowboy buckle up. What would that mean to you if you were able to bring that one home? Well, it'd be a big deal for sure. I mean, uh, my whole family, we love doing rodeo and everything, and nobody's really won all around, you know, for state before. So it'd be it'd be cool to, you know, be the first one. Awesome. Uh, talk to me real quick about uh the other events. Of course, you're in the tie down roping and the team roping. Um, mm -hmm. you got again a busy week like a lot of the other competitors. Um, talk to me about what's it going to take to kind of manage that endurance and manage the the horses and all the logistics that go with uh such a busy workload um i mean yeah it's busy for sure but i mean i've got so much help with my parents and everything and my family as well and as long as we you know try to bring everything that we're prepared for and then just try to make three clean runs and everything make it best we can awesome uh, Luke, we're going to go ahead and transition to the uh, spotlight portion of the interview. So how that works is I've got 10 numbers between, uh, or 10 questions, each of them assigned a number between one and 10. They're all kind of for fun icebreaker questions. So uh, I'll you'll pick four numbers between one and 10, and uh, that'll determine your uh, spotlight question. Sound good? Sure. All right. What's that first number going to be? It'll be, let's go six. Six. What's a hidden talent of yours? Hidden talent? Um. I wouldn't say I have many hidden talents or anything. Um, I'm not. I'm not the worst bowler, I guess. Bowling okay. is pretty fun. So, what's the highest score you've ever gotten? Um, I think around 180. Yeah, you'd beat me. So that you're completely <laughs> <better> bowling then. <laughs> How often do you go? Uh, not often. Me and my brother love to bowl, though. I mean, we we try to go as much as we can, you know. But it's definitely one of our, but like besides rodeo, it's one of our favorite things to do. About to ask you going to celebrate the end of the rodeo season with a nice uh, round of bowling, you think? Oh, I, I'd love to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they do have a bowling alley in Heber. might be a fun thing to – fun way to celebrate that all-around title if you get yeah, it. That'd be great. That'd be awesome. <laughs> all right, what's that next one going to be? Um, let's go two. Two. What is your most uh, prized possession? Your most prized possession. Oh, that's a tough one. Um, hmm. I don't know. It's definitely maybe my horses for sure. I mean, they're they the whole reason I've been able to do all these things, you know, and um, all the opportunities that I have. So you got Duke as your cutting horse. What's your team roping and your tie down horse? Now my team roping horse is Levi, and then my calf roping horse is Pony Boy. Which one have you had the longest? I definitely Levi the longest. Yep. What uh? What uh? I, what kind of bond do you have with Levi? I mean, if, I mean, 
a lot of people I don't think really realize the bond that uh, ropers and cowboys have with their horses when they when they're out there working. Right. Um, we've had them for I mean, ever since pretty much since I was real young. My grandpa used to own them, and then we bought them from my grandpa. And then uh, when my main horse got hurt, I I used I started using Levi, and it was kind of like an instant click, you know. He it was I was so lucky to have him and everything and I feel like just being able to have that horse with me you know it's been such a big deal it's the whole reason I'm here right now that's awesome that's awesome and you are in a really good spot and you do a great job kind of giving credit to those that help got you there and that's something that that I've uh I really uh really appreciate about you just in the few moments I've talked with you um what's that next one going to be um, let's go nine. Nine. All right. If uh, someone was to play, if there's, if they were to make a movie about your life, can you think of anyone that you would think would be a good actor to play you? Um, these are good questions. I haven't thought about that. Um, <laughs> I don't know. My my family likes to joke that maybe Ryan Gosling could be a good actor for me. Okay. I mean, in your defense, I don't think anyone thinks about that question very much like <laughs> yeah. oh, if, if i'm important enough to make a movie about i wonder who'd play me <laughs> so yeah. in your defense i don't think everyone thinks about that but ryan gosling do you think uh he could learn how to rope and how to cut i'm sure it might take a while but i'm sure he probably could you know <laughs> <laughs> what what do you think would be the the hardest thing about teaching someone to to rope and to cut at your level um it's definitely the the want to practice and the constant like you need to practice no matter what I mean um it always comes first I've sacrificed so much for it <clears throat> time with family friends you know um a, a lot of times school sometimes even though I probably shouldn't have but I mean you know <laughs> it's just it's always been the first thing you know in my life that I need to focus on yeah what's that last one gonna be um so four four What's your favorite holiday and what's your favorite tradition with that holiday? I love Christmas. Um, just like being around family, friends and everything. And um, I'm very religious, you know, and so we love the uh, religious aspect of Christmas, you know, remembering, remembering Christ and everything, and the birth, you know, of Christ. And it's just a very special time of year for all of us. Awesome. All right, I got one more question for you. When uh, what you're a senior, so what are your plans after this season? Um, I plan on serving a LDS mission right after this, and then um, I'm thinking maybe college right after the mission, and yeah, that's I think that's the plan. Are do you uh have the call already, or do you know where you're going to be serving your mission yet, or? I'm just putting my papers right now, just barely finishing them up. So okay, cool. We'll see. Well, congratulations. That's a that's a great uh great time in someone's life and we're excited for you. We're also excited to see you rodeo at the uh at the state finals. Um are you putting your availability after nationals just in case you go or is this one of those things you're wanting to kind of start sooner than later? Yeah, I'll put it after nationals. That's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> make sure it, it make sure you get that chance to compete at Rock Springs if it's there. Yes, sir. Awesome. Well, Luke, we're going to be rooting for you, and uh, congratulations on a great season. That is Luke Haskell. He's a senior with South Utah County, uh, one of the top cutters in the state, one of the one of uh, the leaders of the all-around cowboy race. It's going to be fascinating to see how that shakes out. Uh, Luke, thank you so much for the time. Best of luck. We'll be rooting for you. Can't wait to see you at, at uh, State. Anything else before we wrap it up? No, that's perfect. Thank you so much for having me on.